But what's with this job? Dude suffers a head-on collision in a parked car. I'd say it's worth checking out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but we got bigger problems, don't you think? I'm sure the apocalypse will still be there when we get back. Right, yeah. But I mean, if, if the cult is really out there somewhere... Yeah, we've been looking for three weeks. we got bupkis. Okay. But Dean... Man, if we're gonna... Ice the devil... This is what we're doing. Okay? End of discussion. It's just this is our first real case back at it together. You know, I think we ought to ease into it. Put the training wheels back on. So we think we need training wheels. So we, we need training wheels. You and me, as a team. Okay? I mean, death follows his car around like exhaust. Nobody touches it and comes away in one piece. Hmm. Then in 1970, it vanished off the back of a truck. Nobody's ever seen it since. I'm telling you, man, if this, if this car is little bastard, I will bet you dollars to donuts it's what killed the guy. So how do we find out? Well, Cal matched the VIN number, but the only real way to know is the engine number. I'm guessing the engine number. On the engine. Yeah. You want me to do it? No. No, no, I've got, I've got it. Okay, baby. I'm not gonna hurt you, so... Don't hurt me.